I'm not so sure if you can hear me uh, quite well, but we're coming to you all the way from Emalasheni. Of course, uh, this was uh, the hometown of uh, the late minister in the presidency, Mr. Jackson Tembu. I mean, the whole nation was actually shocked um, after hearing news of his passing uh, yesterday, untimely passing, might I add. And I mean, tributes continue to pour in Arabile, uh, not only just from ordinary South Africans, but uh, various uh, politicians, uh, you know, and political leaders, some describe him as an incorruptible man uh, saying that he played a huge role uh, not only in government but of course uh, you know in the liberation movement uh, of this country uh, he served as an MEC of transport in his hometown where we currently are uh, I mean home province I beg your pardon Arabile uh, from 1997 to 90, uh, 1999 uh, his work and his role uh, within the governing party honestly uh, actually speaks for itself I mean he was a face and and uh, he was the voice of uh, the governing party from 1995 up to 1997. And uh, I mean, he just worked his way up through the ranks of uh, the ANC uh, in uh, uh, the ANC NEC, I beg your pardon. But I mean, to actually talk about his contribution more uh, in the movement, the African National Congress. And of course, in this province, I'm joined by the provincial secretary of uh, the ANC, Pumalanga Umam Lindi Wenjali Thank you so much for having us in SABC, man. Unfortunately, I mean, it's, it's under you know, quite dire and uh, sad uh, circumstances. Just tell us about Obam Tim, his contribution, your personal interactions with him and your fondest memories, perhaps, Nobam uh, Velas, as we he was affectionately known. Firstly, the ANC in Pumalanga want to send our condolences to the family of Mtembu, the entire family, the wife of Baba Mtembu and the kids. The entire cabinet, uh, NSC members, and the ANC at large, our communities. But uh, we are here today, we are very sad as a province, but uh, the problem is that uh, the person that has passed on was the face of COVID-19. Why are we saying that? Because he was communicating to every household. It was like uh, everybody was uh, residing with uh, Babum Tembo mm. or Comrade Jackson because every time and again when he coordinates the cluster of uh, the ministers to come and communicate on COVID matters, he was the leading face on this one. Hence we're saying we've lost really a soldier that has fought a good battle, that has been communicating and uh, be generous and, and, and honest with the truth. But what we have lost as a province in Emalakheni, he's been an activist it's uh, all his life. Mm. And what we've learned from him is to stand by the principle and to stand by the things that he believes in. Mm. And uh, it was not uh, possible that uh, you would change his mind if it's not what he believes in. Mm. That is one of his strong characters. But also, positions never change, Comrade Jackson. Mm. I grew up in the ANC Youth League. I was uh, a, a nurtured also by him. He had a hand in me as uh, I was, I was, I'm from here, Malakleni. I was part of the upbringing and the input that you see in us today. Hence, we're saying we've lost a lot as a Malakleni and as the ANC in Pumalang. But key to everything, we've lost a servant of a people, mm. a humble servant that was serving at all levels with uh, with or without any deployment mm -hmm. he would uh, 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 get off the blue lights as an enemy or as a minister and go to lutuli house and mm -hmm. serve the ANC, not expecting anything not expecting glory even now as he was here at home he's a minister but you'd find him around mm -hmm. driven uh, uh, driving around alone and be with the people. Mm -hmm. We had some uh, activities during December. Comrade Jackson was here at home with the idols. He was here supporting our idols. He was just a person who's serving our own people. Hence, we're saying we really have lost in Comrade Jackson. And as the ANC in Pumalanga, we are, we are, we are very touched. And he was loved by everybody. Mm -hmm. And you can see the people here, even if we are saying 
we must comply with the COVID regulation. We're trying to say to our people, please don't come and, 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 and be many at an instance here at the Mtembo's family, but people still want to come. But we're pleading with them as the ANC, because as government, we have said 50, not more than that, and people must wear their masks. And Comrade Jackson stood firm for that. It is unfortunate that uh, the COVID-related uh, 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 issues has taken him away from us, mm -hmm. but really we've lost a good man, a disciplinarian, mm -hmm. a person that was principled. But what we'll never forget about him is his love. Definitely. I was that actually love, coming to that point. That love. And he would just love and pour out his heart. And uh, whether there's bereavement in um, Pumalanga or in Malakheni, or uh, he's that supportive somebody. Mm -hmm. And that is why we're saying we've lost one of the good cadres. Which actually brings me to my next point. I mean, he was described as larger than life. Um, my personal interactions with him, definitely all the time he would be laughing. But Mam Chali Chali, I mean, just tell us of maybe you lost your memories of him. I mean, he nurtured you, you grew up <laughs> under his wings. Let me share one memory when uh, Comrade Jackson uh, or there's a clip that is circulating where Comrade Jackson was uh, a, a, a calling order on the young Julius. I was there, I was part of the ANC Youth League because by that time I was serving in the yes. PC of the ANC Youth League. And there was that uh, student movement that was unruly, led by that young fellow. And there was some squabbles and uh, you know the Youth League of that time. We dealt with that situation amicably so because we said we are the leader of the PYA, but will not allow another youth organization to disrespect our own organization. So if you see that clip, we were there bearing Comrade Eve and were defending the family. That is why we're saying forever as the ANC, we respect families, we respect cultures, and will not do as we please, because other than being a leader, you remain a family member, you remain a father. And Comrade Jackson was firm on that. And when we drive back in that Titanic, there's that pass out we call Titanic, we're saying we'll not be uh, allowing other people to, 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 to disrespect the ANC or the family. Mm -hmm. Hence we're saying we had those memories. But other than that, we've worked and served with him as I was running the election. He was part of the communication team. Some of the bravest thing we would take from him to say, how do we address media? Mm -hmm. What are the do's and don'ts? because he's been there um, I must say there he's a he has a novice he's a novice he has moved but uh, we're not perfect but uh, we've learned a lot from him I cannot say he's perfect also but we said we've learned a lot from him and if there was anything he was just human mm. like any other person he would have his own ups and downs and a family man that is why we're saying we 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 have really lost yes. this but other than that mm. comrade jackson will just give us a ride yeah. when we're from our meetings to mm -hmm. our uh, office mm -hmm. and uh, he will be there okay one Mom, uh, Charlie, Charlie, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm going to have to catch you. I, I'd really love to have this conversation with you, yeah. but of course, we will catch up with you later. We we'll just have to cross back to studio. Uh, but Arabil, at 3 o'clock, uh, there is going to be a drive-by by, by uh, GCIS uh, and other stakeholders here at the Ntembu family home. Of course, they will not be coming in uh, due to COVID-19 uh, you know, protocols and regulations. Uh, but of course, we will give you more news. I have heard, uh, heard and caught the wind that um, Mr. Ntembu might be buried this coming Sunday, but I've of course, as the SABC News, we will actually verify this uh, information and uh, give it to you uh, firsthand. But as for me, uh, it's back to you in studio.